All right, so we're here at the Monday Night Jam tonight. I'm going to be doing my manga book test for all of these awesome folks. Everyone say hello. Yay! Let's check it out. All right, everyone. How are we doing tonight? Good? Good? Awesome, awesome. So I just wanted to show you guys something fun this evening. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Michael O'Brien, and I am a professional magician. Yeah. I'm going to magish for you this evening if that's okay. But a lot of people ask me, they'll say, you know, why is it that I love performing magic? And the honest truth is it reminds me of what it's like to be a kid again. You know, I can focus in on myself going back in time, back when I used to sit down on the floor and go over to my friend's house and like battle Pokemon cards and all that awesome stuff. Uh, speaking of Pokemon, anyone, any Pokemon fans in here? Where are my Pokemon peeps at? Yeah? Yeah. Right over here. Do me a favor. Uh, you, sir, what's your name? Nexus. Nexus, do me a favor. Think of any Pokemon in the Pokemon universe, but not Pikachu. Okay. Everyone thinks of Pikachu. Okay, focus on one. You got one? In your mind? You're thinking of it? Would you be impressed if the Pokemon you're merely thinking of is on a piece of paper inside of this envelope? Yes, I would. That'd be pretty good, right? For the first time, name out loud the Pokemon you're merely thinking of. Charizard. Charizard. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the envelope, I have the complete Pokemon Pokedex. <laughs> Charizard's in here. He's in here. Look, he's, he's like one of the first ones, too. Look at that. You made it easy for me. What is Charizard? Number four? Number five? Number six. Look at that. Charizard, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. All right. You're probably thinking, well, it's a little easy to do something like that when I have an entire encyclopedia here with all of them in it but I actually found this book in a box of stuff that I had in the garage and uh, in there was a bunch of other cool stuff like I had a bunch of my Pokemon cards uh, I found a bunch of my old Nintendo games in there and I found some of these which brought back a ton of nostalgia for me uh, these here are called manga they're Japanese style graphic novels go ahead and have a look at that my friend uh, you can go ahead and check that one out as well. And the interesting thing that you might notice about it is that uh, the books themselves are actually, they're, they're kind of backwards, right? They're, re they're reversed. The way that you read it is actually starting from the top right corner and moving on to the left, right? So there's a lot of really cool, interesting things that you can read inside of these graphic novels. And I wanted to do a little mind reading trick for all of you guys. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, why don't you just have me think of any random word off the top of my head? Why do I need to look into a book? And the honest truth is, every time I do this, people always say the same like four or five words, right? They'll say a lamp or spoon or cup or food or something like that, right? So I want to get a random word chosen. I'm going to need four people to go ahead and come up and help me out. Four people who don't have uh, any issues with me creeping into their mind. You, my friend, would you like to help me? Yes. Yeah, come on up, come on up. I need three more people. You, my friend, go ahead and come on up. Okay. You, my friend, go ahead and come on up. And I need one more lucky victim. Would you like to help me as well? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's have a couple of you guys on this side, a couple of you guys on this side. So normally the magician spreads out the deck of cards and they say, pick a card, any card? Well, today we're going to do pick a book, any book. There you go. This one. Perfect. This one. And pick a book. Well, very good, very good. All right, so uh, what books do we have actually today? We have uh, Pokemon, one of my personal favorites. Yu-Gi-Oh, where my duelists at? Blue Eyes, White Dragon, I know you play. <laughs> right, uh, Lupin the Third, one of my other personal favorites. And Case Closed, also known as Detective Conan. So I want to try something here, right? Uh, may I borrow this yeah. real quick? So this is what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to flip through the pages just like this. All you have to do is say stop. Anytime you want. Okay, say stop. Stop. Right there. Yep. Go ahead and have a look. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's manga, so you have to read it right to left. Okay. So you're going to look at the top right corner here. Is there a dialogue bubble in that top right corner? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to hand you the book. Go ahead and look in that dialogue bubble and think of one of the words. But make it a good word, one that's uh, a few letters long, maybe not like a two, three, four letter word. You got one in your mind? Perfect. I'm going to try to see if I can divine that word from your mind. Have to make it dramatic. All right. <laughs> All right. Focus on that word. 
It starts with the letter, I think it starts with the letter D, is that true? Yep. And um, thinking it ends like with, uh, with an N? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay, maybe I got it, maybe I didn't. For, in a loud, clear voice, can you say the name of the word that you chose? Okay, uh, dragon. Dragon was your word. Yep. What did I write here? Oh, shit. Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll bleep it out later. Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take that book. That's for you. You can keep that. And please go ahead and have a seat. Thank you so much for joining me up here. All right. Now, I want to try something a little bit harder tonight. Having one word chosen from a book usually about four or five hundred pages and maybe like 50 words per page might be a little bit difficult for me to try to guess the exact word that they're thinking of but i want to try something twice as hard as that and have two words thought of at the same time i'm gonna have you actually i'm gonna save the best for last pokemon is my favorite one so we're gonna have you come in at the end okay but we have two books here uh let me go ahead and uh grab that case closed book i'm just gonna flip through actually if you don't mind sorry can you come on this side we'll have one of each of you on either side i'm gonna flip through one more time just like this okay and all you have to do is just say stop whenever you want stop right there yep. now i want you to know you have a fair choice you could keep going or you could stick to the page that you stopped at it's up to you Keep going. Keep going. Say stop whenever you want. Stop. Right there. Yep. All right. Go ahead and take that book. Look in the top right corner there one more time. Is there a dialogue bubble there with some words in it? Uh, yes. Perfect. Go ahead and focus in on that uh, dialogue bubble there and choose a word in that dialogue bubble once again, making it uh, an interesting one. One, it's not like two or three letters. The reason I say this is because someone will think of the word the, is, and the, right? But, B-U-T. <laughs> you got a word? Yes. Right, I said I'm going to do two words at once, okay? So go ahead and uh, actually here, I'm going to try something even more fair than that. A lot of times when I do this, uh, people want to know why do I have to flip the pages? Why can't they do it themselves? Right? So, uh, and the reason for that is honestly just because it takes forever, right? Like uh, go ahead and close the book. Uh, when I do this uh, trick, a lot of times the person will go like this. And it just takes forever, right? So do me a favor. Go ahead and hold the book just like this, so the cover is facing you. Flip through, and then stop at any any page that you'd like. And uh, go ahead and look in the top right panel there. And if it has a dialogue bubble, look at a word in that dialogue bubble. But again, make it an interesting one. Okay. You got one? Yes. Perfect. You got a word? Yes. You got a word? Yes. Go ahead and close your book. I'll take that back. I'll take that back. We're going to try to see if we can get two words at the same time. Here we go. We're gonna start over here, okay? Focus in on your word. You chose a longer word, one that has like maybe five, six letters in it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go here. I'm thinking it uh, starts with the letter T, is that true? No. Really? It, is, it does not. doesn't start with the letter T. No. Ends with the letter T. It has a letter T. It has a letter T. All right. Um, I'm not feeling too confident about this one. I'll tell you what. I'm going to set this one aside for now. Okay. We'll set it right over here. Okay. Um, I'll come back to you. All right. You focus on your work for just what was what was the word that you're thinking of out of, out of curiosity? Button. Button? Yes. Wow, it does that. It had two T's in it. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, we'll see. Okay. Okay. Uh, you were thinking of uh, of a word that that also started with the letter T. Yes. Uh, no. It did not. Really? It just. It did not. All right. Um. It was a longer word, though. Maybe like four or five letters long. Um, longer than that. It was longer. Th Man. Okay. We're, we're, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm seeing. Uh, I don't know about this one either. All right, uh, you chose a word. You chose a word. What was the word that you were thinking of? Uh, 80, 86. 86. What was the word that you were thinking of? Button. Button. What did I write here? 86. What did I write here? Button. <laughs> That's for you, my friend. That's for you. <laughs> Thank you. You can have a seat. You can have a seat as well. Whew. All right. Making me... Making me nervous over here. All right. 
I saved Pokemon for last. Okay, it's my favorite one. Uh, I wanted to try something uh, here. But every time I do this, some people think that maybe, maybe, there's a slight chance that I peek. I look at something or maybe I can see there's mirrors around and I can see the words, right? So I'm going to do this one more time, okay? But this time, I'm going to use a blindfold. Uh, do me a favor, check this out. Make sure it's completely ordinary. You can put it over your eyes, make sure you can't see it. It's just like a blindfold that you would normally find in any bedroom, yes? yes. <laughs> Everyone always laughs when I say that. I don't know why. All right, so um, it, it's good? Yeah. It's, it's true? Okay. I am going to completely blindfold myself. Okay, good? All right, go ahead and hand me the book. Perfect, all right. Um, same situation as before, okay? I'm gonna ripple through the pages. You just say stop anytime that you want, okay? Say stop. Stop. Right there is okay? Yeah. I'm holding the book the right way, right? Yes, you are. It's good. It's, it's not upside down? No, it's the upside down. It is upside down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, go ahead and uh, look over here in the top uh -huh. right corner one more time. Look at the top right dialogue bubble over there and look at a word. You got one? Yes, I do. Perfect. Go ahead and hold the book. Uh -huh. All right. Um, can someone hand me, or can you maybe hand me the, I should have had it in my hand before. I don't know why I didn't. Paper? Yeah, the paper's in the pen. There we go. Hold on. There we go. And this is the pen. The pen? Perfect. Is the pen facing the right way? It is. All right. I don't want to do the touch thing and get ink all over my hand. All right. Um, you thinking of a word? Yeah. All right. Um, this isn't actually a word. Is this like a number? No. It's not a number. No. It's a word? Really? Mm -hmm. It starts with the letter F, right? No. Really? It doesn't? No. Um, I'm just going to go for it. I don't know if I got it or not. You sure it's not a number? No. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, hopefully I didn't just stick that in someone's food. It's good? Okay. Uh, and I'm going to put this down too. All right. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what I wrote. and You tell me if that's, that's close. Can you even read it? What does it say? 55. 55, yeah, and the word that you're thinking of? Um, Golduck. Wait, what, what was the word? Golduck. Golduck, that's like a Pokemon character's name, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take off the blindfold real quick. Okay. I wrote 55. You're thinking of the word Golduck. Mm -hmm. If anyone knows anything about Pokemon, you know that every single Pokemon has a number associated with them, right? Yes? Let's see. 55 is what I wrote. 37, 41, 45. Pokemon number 55, no what does it say? No way. Oh. What is it? <laughs> Gold Duck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this. This is for you. Thank Go ahead and have a seat. All right, everyone. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed joining me for a little bit of my childhood. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you again so much. Have a good night.